Fighting job like fighting fires. Here to debate former Secret Service agent Evie Pompouris and executive director of the Accountability Project, Nominki Coast. Thank you very much, uh, both of you, for being here this morning. So, Evie, I want to go to you first. Uh, it, it appears here that there's preferential treatment six times to pass the same test. Uh, there aren't many females in the FDNY. What do you see in this situation? With her situation, she's asked to do a 1.5 mile run in under 12 minutes. That is not something that's out of that's not that's out of the ordinary. She should be able to do that. It's not something that's extreme. And what's happening is it's not just the run. Usually you have to do your push-ups, your pull-ups, your sit-ups. You're exhausted by then, then you have to do your run, which is where she's having a hard time. But the thing with her situation is she's also claiming that she had, she's injured, stress fractures from what we understand, and that's why she can't do this run. Yeah, that's what I'm, in the military it's push-ups, sit-ups, uh, and then a run. Here in case it's just the run. Nominki, I want to go to you. Uh, this, the, other firefighters have, have, uh, have criticized this, saying that this is preferential treatment clearly for a female firefighter or one that wants to be a female firefighter. Is, are we seeing preferential treatment? And if so, is, do you have a problem with it? Not at all. Actually, you know, the FDNY has been sued multiple times and has lost their lawsuits over the past 40 years for going out of their way to fix tests, making them more difficult for women. They have a long history of this. In fact, there's an organization called Merit Matters where a captain who leads this group, and it's a small group of individuals, have been leading a PR campaign against women firefighters. You know, these are former Marines. Is, is, it, these are against, is it against women, female yeah. firefighters, or for it is. high it's, standards? It's a, it's a cultural issue. It's a cultural issue. They've changed the standards. You have to acknowledge that they've shifted the tests so that they sabotage women. I mean, there no, is evidence and, and, of this. So they lost correct lawsuits. The record on this. They haven't mm -hmm. shifted the tests to sabotage women. They've shifted In the tests to try and to make it easier did. for more women to get into the fire department. That's actually not true. In 1978 and 1982, there was a lawsuit, and they lost. And as a result, Brenda Berkman became the first FDNY firefighter, and she became a captain and a lieutenant, and she's a crusader, and she's perfectly qualified. These are former Marines. These are women who are highly qualified to, you know, to, to perform a six-minute mile with a stress fracture and a respiratory condition. You know, that's not right. And it's that's not, not right for a mile. man. That's it's, not right it's, for a woman. It's uh, definitely not a six-minute mile uh, at all. Uh, Evie, what do you say here? Is this a minute and a half. Uh, yeah, you know, is this an anti women crusade at the FDNY? With her situation, I don't believe so. You know, Mickey, what she, she has to do is she has to be able to run. You're talking about a very physical job. The other things you're talking about as far as the standards, they have been changed. They have been changed over the years so that women can get in. The problem is with these types of jobs, certain law enforcement positions, when you're talking about firefighting, you have to be physically fit. They have to be able to carry sure. about 100 pounds of gear. No one's 100 pounds that. of gear. Nobody's doubting and, that. And hang on. And then you have to be able to carry somebody else. The average weight of a person sure. today, an adult male, is They're 109. They're not saying that I should join the FDNY. These are women who are capable. They're but she has, the when she has stress fractures, she can't run. It's like saying a pilot, so, it's like a pilot that, that, saying, well, not, I can only see through one eye the and not the other. Can they she wait until she heals, until she takes that? No, Miki, she has can to Can they wait until be she able. heals? Because there's no They've evidence of this for a couple men. of years. That's the problem. We're giving her a couple of years. We're going to have to leave it here. I know someone waiting waiting in a burning building can't wait. Certainly standards have to matter at some point. This is a debate that will certainly continue across the spectrum. Thank you both for joining us this morning. Appreciate